No, we will uh, go to uh, uh, proceed with the next uh, uh, session. I would like to welcome here uh, Mr. Pavel Vrana, who is a member of the Secretariat of the Council of the Czech Anglers Union, where he is ichthyologist. He studied the secondary Anglers schools, the uh, South, South Bohemian University in the town of České Budějovice, and he will speak about uh, fishes, um, fishermen and uh, otters. Uh, river otters. So good uh, morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Uh, we are going to talk about a uh, sector which is probably not uh, typical, but it's uh, the agriculture sector because uh, the Czech Angles Union Fishing uh, just, in fact, uh, spends about uh, 200 million crowns uh, for new fish uh, that is, uh, in fact, uh, collected. So uh, the uh, fishing uh, grounds uh, represent important uh, source of uh, proteins. Uh, we have about 270 tons of uh, thousands of tons uh, per year in fish that we catch annually. So I would like to share with you uh, something which is happening in uh, practice, uh, which is the impact of otters uh, on our fishing grounds. Uh, we can see that. The original paradise is lost probably forever. We will always try to re-establish it, uh, but uh, while talking about otters, uh, it's probably not uh, possible to achieve it anymore. We have uh, the uh, Otters uh, which uh, arrived, uh, otters are not good, they are not bad, but they simply exist here. And uh, the society is uh, simply uh, spent. Uh, so somebody loves uh, otters, uh, so uh, otter lovers, and somebody hates otters, uh, so otter haters, uh, which is in fact uh, visible in most members of uh, the Czech Anglers Union. So, in fact, uh, from the view of uh, law, Otters uh, are, in fact, uh, most um, protected uh, species, res nullius. Uh, so, in fact, uh, uh, they don't belong to anybody. So, we treat otters as a uh, thing without any value from the law point of view. So that's about, uh, again, uh, the society, which is uh, split. Uh, so the Ministry of Environment uh, should uh, judge the situation uh, regarding authors. But in fact, uh, the Ministry of Environment uh, commissions a study. You Usually, uh, do uh, those who love horses, and then the results of study usually look like that. Uh, so, in fact, uh, the study states uh, that the population of otters is too fragile, uh, like uh, the Emperor Rudolf was stating, uh, it will disappear, and so on. So, uh, it is the situation. So, what uh, Czechs uh, think about otters? Uh, average uh, Czech uh, do not care about otters at all while having something to smoke and. Uh, a beer to drink, so don't, they don't care. So uh, most Czechs think that, uh, in fact, otters are lovely animals. So uh, in fact, they may eat uh, carrots uh, and they may just uh, move uh, while um, having uh, the movable keys on and so on. So they may think that uh, otters uh, are not harmful, but most um, Fishermen think uh, that otters are like uh, snails, uh, and uh, in fact, this is probably not a uh, good opinion. We have to look for a compromise. So why people um, prefer otters? Uh, otters are beautiful, uh, nice to look at, uh, they are playful, they are moving so nicely, they have such a soft fur, they are just making some sounds, and uh, they are also starting in uh, the children movies of uh, wild fish. Uh, they are cold, uh, awful, 
how awful smell, they do not make any sounds, and it's difficult to see it uh, with uh, the exception of poison uh, fish uh, that happened now in Bechwa River in the Czech Republic, uh, and uh, that's the current situation. The question is, uh, do we think that uh, our uh, ancestors were so uh, stupid? Uh, today, otters are back uh, in nature, which is an example of a very nice uh, repatriation of uh, an organism. But otters uh, were, in fact, uh, hunted before. Maybe uh, our ancestors uh, knew that otters do not eat carrots. Uh, so maybe our grandfathers uh, do not like uh, the current situation in uh, fishing. Uh, why do we think uh, so? I just uh, demonstrated uh, the original situation here. Uh, the green uh, part stands for the original population of uh, fish. Uh, the yellow stands for population of uh, otters. Uh, but then a man arrived, uh, and uh, in fact, uh, they take away part of uh, otters and part of uh, fish population, and uh, everything worked uh, in the desired way. So what is uh, the fish? stocking uh, density now. We can see that a um, lot of uh, fish uh, disappeared uh, uh, due to uh, poisoned uh, waters, uh, due to changed uh, rivers, uh, bad and so on. And in fact, otters uh, now uh, in fact cover the entire territory of the Czech Republic, uh, and we don't have uh, enough uh, fish today. And, uh, there is not simply enough of them, and some uh, fish population may disappear. We are, or we should strive uh, for perfect uh, balance in the nature. Uh, unfortunately, we just uh, disrupted uh, the perfect balance. Uh, we just uh, allowed uh, otters uh, to be more present. Uh, they reproduced uh, themselves. So speaking about uh, pond, uh, we catch fish, and uh, in fact, uh, otters have to eat something, so they won't uh, be happy just uh, with uh, the uh, fish uh, in rivers. They will start uh, eating uh, fish uh, in the uh, fish fishing uh, grounds. So, so, for instance, we know the phenomenon of golden cage. Yes, they are good uh, places still, but uh, we are not able to uh, disseminate the perfect situation uh, in close uh, future. So some people state that uh, it's quite late, five minutes to 12, uh, but in fact, uh, it's five minutes past uh, 12 uh, already because uh, in some locations uh, the original fish population disappeared forever. People believe that uh, Mother Nature can cope. Uh, you can just uh, use a magic telephone and call your complaint. But in fact, this is uh, the current uh, situation. The limits of other population very different. Uh, they are just uh, experience different. Um, Sicknesses like rabies, for instance, and we, of course, try to suppress uh, those uh, sicknesses. Uh, then there were some predators uh, that were eating otters, uh, for instance, uh, wolves uh, or uh, birds uh, that, uh, in fact, uh, reduced the population of otters. Uh, but uh, still, they are coming, but not uh, sufficiently. Uh, there is not enough of uh, them to be able to reduce population of uh, otters. Uh, unless uh, limit think, uh, the population of otters by some illnesses. Then uh, population of uh, fish, uh, in fact, uh, the Czech uh, anglers um, Union, uh, in fact, um, has enough fishes uh, in the fishing grounds, uh, but uh, if uh, there are not uh, enough uh, fish uh, in uh, the natural rivers uh, and so on, then uh, the otters will eat fish uh, in uh, the fishing uh, grounds. In the past, uh, humans uh, were also 
sketching uh, others. So, well, we see the picture of a car. Of course, it's not a positive uh, picture. It's not good uh, to kill others by cars. Uh, but uh, in fact, that's the only limit uh, that would limit the population of others today. In fact, uh, in fact, uh, there is no autopilot uh, in the nature. Currently, it failed. Uh, the aircraft uh, does not uh, fly on the autopilot, so speaking about uh, nature. So we have to do our job. Uh, we know this uh, picture, uh, three uh, monkeys uh, being uh, blind, uh, not hearing, and uh, so not talking. Uh, yeah, we have to admit uh, that the situation, as it is, uh, people claim that uh, the oldest population is too fragile. For instance, uh, there are a lot of uh, studies. Uh, for instance, uh, I just wanted to uh, show the product uh, of a uh, company producing razors. In the past, uh, one blade was enough. Today, we are using six blades instead. Uh, and uh, something similar should uh, be uh, uh, also and the uh, nature regarding um, regarding uh, uh, regarding uh, authors, uh, for instance, uh, speaking about uh, the uh, grayling uh, fish, uh, the timilus, timilus uh, fish, uh, we don't have enough of them. Uh, speaking about uh, this uh, image, we see the uh, red uh, map, um, the presence uh, of uh, the river Otter in 2016, uh, the red uh, stones for regular presence, uh, the yellow stands for irregular presence. So we can see that uh, river otters are present everywhere in the Czech Republic, uh, which results in dissatisfaction of uh, fishermen. And, uh, of course, how to solve the situation. The minister knows uh, that shooting of uh, otters is not allowed because EU does not wish it. Uh, and uh, the question is, uh, should we follow this uh, ban? We know that some European countries are shooting uh, otters already. So uh, we have to see the true situation. Maybe the situation is no longer sustainable, of course. We may have a lot of otters, uh, but what about uh, the population of uh, fish? We won't have enough of uh, fish uh, while having too many otters. Uh, if we complain about the situation, uh, we hear uh, compensations are not allowed uh, because uh, we, in fact, uh, cannot Claimed, uh, we should compensate. We don't get uh, any uh, compensation of damage uh, for fishing grounds. So, but uh, speaking about uh, ponds, compensations are possible. We have some legal claims. Uh, maybe we will uh, get some compensations in the future, but for the time being, we were not successful. Uh, so, uh, speaking about uh, legal and illegal regulation, then we don't have possibility to legally regulate uh, the presence uh, of authors. Uh, so, maybe only limiting them illegally, which is, of course, not uh, good. Uh, uh, I'm quite uh, sure that. Um, people will shoot. Um, uh, Otters, maybe so there will be so some so traps uh, installed. Uh, But uh, this is not a uh, matter of we will be poisoning uh, authors legally. Of course, uh, it is a really not a good uh, system. Uh, then uh, we are talking about uh, loss of generation and remote fish, threat to local population of native species, um, ultimately endangering entire species. Lot, loss of whole years of fish, impossibility of proper management of capillaries, poor trout economy, dramatic decline in uh, biomass um, and fish abundance in the nature, uh, unsustainable situation, management of uh, numeric 
is not like that, and there is a possibility of financial compensation. It's quite uh, difficult. So uh, we are talking about uh, the Chateau Angler's uh, uh, situation. Uh, in fact, uh, we are losing interest uh, in fishing, uh, and uh, in fact, there are complaints uh, how uh, fishermen care for the fishing grounds and so on. So on behalf of the surviving fish, I would like to thank you for your attention. Uh, now questions to Mr. Varana concerning uh, the uh, otters and fish. So does the situation in fish population inc uh, improve uh, in uh, the last five years uh, or is it uh, Worse. So, so I just would say that uh, certain species uh, are locally uh, more endangered than the others. So thank you very much. It's a really local issue currently. We can say that uh, in certain rivers, for instance, in Bečva River, the entire population uh, may disappear, uh, including uh, really precious uh, species. Uh, on the contrary, we have uh, rivers uh, where the population is uh, growing. Uh, the invasion species uh, is endangered endangering the native uh, population, for instance, uh, uh, the population of uh, certain uh, fishes uh, is uh, reproducing uh, too much uh, than infection di diseases. Uh, uh, for instance, when we interconnect uh, different, uh, different uh, river basins, uh, for instance, uh, HEPA viruses is endangering uh, the river population currently. And uh, in fact, it is impacting the population living in the fish. Uh, Talkings. Thank you very much. Our next uh, question for Mr. Vrana, please. What uh, measures uh, of uh, the otter population uh, stabilization adequate to the situation you propose? Which uh, measures would be the most appropriate ones? Of course, it's a really good uh, question. Uh, we are now in the stage of uh, total protection of uh, otters. I guess uh, we should implement uh, measures uh, that uh, are penetrating uh, the fish uh, uh, stocking uh, areas uh, or uh, the uh, fish uh, hatcheries uh, um, and it's really difficult to compensate uh, the damages uh, caused by others in those fish stockings or fish hatcheries uh, then we should implement uh, some protection in uh, the trout uh, rivers uh, or a little uh, river uh, water basins and so on. So the genetic values of our fish would be lost forever uh, ever if uh, disappeared. Uh, also thanks uh, to uh, otters. So, so for instance, in certain rivers, um, the fish, is, fish population is uh, really so small and they may disappear extinct uh, really uh, quickly. Uh, once uh, there is so little of them, once they cannot reproduce themselves, so we should uh, really regularly implement some measures. It is really not our intention to um, extinct uh, otters. Uh, I think uh, the uh, some member states are, uh, in fact, uh, hunting for otters. So, well, the question was probably not uh, about where, but of course I appreciate your answer. And um, more or less it should be about how uh, to limit the uh, population of otters, uh, more or less shooting uh, or certain traps uh, or maybe poisoning uh, otters in the areas uh, where uh, otters are really harmful. And for, it's up to, to individual member states to implement, um, implement certain measures. Uh, maybe hunters uh, association gamekeepers uh, should implement the most appropriate uh, measures. Let's uh, um, implement the most human solutions. But remember uh, this slide uh, showing the presence of authors. Uh, there are no limits currently. 
obviously, and uh, others uh, are overpopulated uh, now. Uh, and uh, for me, I would say that uh, the shooting uh, might be the most appropriate uh, measures uh, if we don't find um, better, more cultural solution. Question, we try to speak uh, politically correctly, so uh, how to rephrase the question, uh, let's force others to be uh, dead in the areas where they are not desirable. Last uh, question, is it possible to uh, keep a presence of uh, others in certain locations uh, only thanks to her ability to migrate? And so, uh, Otters are moving quite uh, quickly and uh, they follow their opportunities and in uh, many locations uh, a lot of opportunities uh, are open to otters and a uh, lot of otters, especially the young ones, uh, migrate uh, for the areas offering uh, better opportunities. Uh, of course, in lowlands uh, where uh, there are more uh, with uh, less environmentally precious uh, fish. Let's keep uh, otters there, but I think in the precious areas uh, we should diminish the presence of uh, otters, and I'm afraid that uh, nature will not help us currently diminishing the population of otters. Question, so thank you very much uh, for your answers. Uh,